chapter 7, uh, problem 17. I want to go through this problem uh, that was assigned last week and take you through the various steps on how to reconcile uh, any differences that you may have had, or I should say clarification. As you can already see, I'm already in QM for Windows, and when we're doing linear program, use QM for Windows. As you can see in this drop-down menu, it's asking us for the number of constraints. We have two constraints, and if you would go back and look at that problem, uh, labor would be one constraint, and lumber would be the second constraint, and of course the number of variables we have would be two. And the objective function here is maximize. Uh, the, the other problem that was assigned last week was minimization, but this problem is maximization. So we have identified, quantified the number of constraints, number of variables, and everything else is OK. So we can just go ahead and do OK. And OK, now we come up with a, with a new screen. And I'm going to go ahead which I firmly believe that one should do and just identify what uh, our variables are. As indicated, we have two variables. We have two constraints, uh, number of uh, hours for labor, and then board feet uh, for lumber. And we are in X1, we'll just say benches. OK, that's what we're producing, benches. And X2 will be tables and it's a maximization. Now this is where some of you went wrong. In other words, the maximization is, okay, if we go ahead and if we sell a bench, our net profit will be nine dollars. If we sell a table, we know our net profit will be twenty. Uh, two constraints as we identified. Constraint one uh, is our um, labor. And constraint number two is our redwood. I'll just refer to it as lumber. OK, when we look at this, we were given from the labor standpoint that we have allocated or can allocate 1,200 hours of labor input in the production of benches and tables. Board feet, uh, we were given. 3500 from the standpoint of the labor unit uh, for a bench it's going to take four hours of labor to produce a bench and it's going to take number of board feet it's going to take 10 per bench for the table we were given that it's going to take six man hours or six hours uh, to produce a table and 35 board feet uh, in the production of a table. So there you have it. In other words, we've identified our uh, objective function and that is benches and tables, uh, $9 per bench and $20 per tables. We have our two constraints, labor and lumber. Um, let me point out one thing here. Uh, whenever you have a maximization type problem, it is always less than or equal to. If we were the minimization, this is how you would change your sign to greater than. So remember, when you are dealing with linear programming, uh, it's always less than or equal to in regard to maximization. If we're dealing with the minimization, and that would be from the standpoint of greater than. So let me just go back here and change the sign to less than or equal to. <coughs> when we're dealing with maximization, what we want to do is, first of all, we want to be able to identify the optimal output solution. And then from that optimal output solution, we're going to be able to identify the number of benches and the number of tables that we should produce in order to maximize our profits. That's the central focus in under linear programming. What output 
what's the optimal output whereby we're going to maximize profits just not make a profit but where are we going to maximize profits and that's the beauty of linear programming and and from your algebra days all what we're doing here is a pretty simple approach uh, you wouldn't need this type of software because all what you would have to do is go ahead and solve these two con constraints simultaneously and then go ahead and solve for X and, and, and Y. Uh, when we're talking about minimization, we're talking about going out and hiring resources in the production of whatever we're manufacturing. And what we want to know, what is the optimal solution whereby we're going to minimize our costs? As I indicated, that was in the other problem that you had to do today. So we we have it set up. And to solve the problem, of course, we just go ahead and solve it. And you can see uh, our solution. Um, to maximize our profits, we will go ahead with the resources that have been allocated. We'll go ahead and we will produce 262.5 benches. Of course, you can't produce a half a bench. So we would just go ahead and we would... Uh, say something like 263 benches and we will produce 25 tables and our so-called profit and that we keep in mind in other words this is maximizing profits of two thousand eight hundred and sixty two dollars and fifty cents with this combination the optimal output 262.5 benches and 25 tables is what we for refer to as the optimal solution optimal output solution whereby we will maximize our our profits could we have some other combination yes and still make a profit of course but 262.5 and 25 is where we will make the most money and maximize our profits and that's the beauty of linear programming because with linear programming even from from the standpoint of maximization or minimization it will tell us basically where we will maximize profits or minimize our costs uh, in going out and hiring resources. So hopefully this uh, helps uh, uh, in looking at linear programming from the standpoint of doing uh, problem 17. Uh,